Well, I'm trying to rejuvenate another battery. This is a small battery that came out of my little minivan. And I was successful doing this procedure with a, a truck battery, I don't know, maybe last year sometime. 2022, it's 2023 now. And But this one I think is going to be a little different and might not be, it might be a fail on this battery rejuvenation. I've got 12.39 volts. It, w it didn't have enough power to start the vehicle or turn it over. And this battery is seven years old. 2016 was the uh, date. Pardon the uh, heavy equipment noise in the background. I got some heavy equipment operating in my neighborhood today, so I apologize for that. I've hit it one time for five minutes with my little, I'll show it to you here in a minute, my little uh, DC stick welder on the 10 amp, the lowest setting. And I was only able to get one, two, three, three of the six cells bubbling. So I've got three cells that are heavily sulfated. I'm going to hit this about four or five more five minute cycles, slowly turning up the amperage and see if I can start to get bubbling in those other three cells that have not bubbled yet. If I'm not able to make them bubble, then this is not going to work. It may show halfway decent voltage for a short period of time, but there's no there's so much sulfation on those other three cells, I'm not able to get a charge into those, those cells. So we'll, we'll try, check it and see. I'll start cycle two right here, and then we'll see what happens. When that small DC welder, stick welder is on, set at 20 amps, I'm getting uh, about 15 volts or so out of it. Trying to pump that into the battery, 15 and a half volts. But again, if I don't get bubbling in those other three cells in the next four or five cycles, it's, I'm not going to be able to revive this battery or rejuvenate this battery, unfortunately. We'll see how it goes. And for those of you who are curious and may want to try this yourself with the little stick welder, I've got the positive lead on the positive post the negative lead on the negative post and I'm using a DC stick welder. I made a video about this on my truck battery and it was successful. I'll link that video in the description if you haven't seen it and you'd like to go check it out. Basically I'm just starting at a low amperage setting on the welder trying to get bubbling in all the cells and then from there I'll slightly turn it up on each cycle. I've been doing five minutes powered on and then 10 minutes powered off so the battery doesn't build up too much heat while it goes through this process. That's what I do anyway. There's a lot of different techniques. You can see a bunch of videos about people doing this and how they go about it. But that's, that's what I'm doing. Looks like I might just barely be starting to get a little bubbling on this cell here, which I did not have before. So maybe there is some hope. Keep my fingers crossed. We'll let this go and we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's starting to very, very slightly starting to bubble on this cell. Still have two to go. I'm not seeing anything on this one and nothing yet on that cell. Very little activity here, but at least some activity. Just cranked up to 40 amps on the little welder. See what that does here on this third cycle. I'm set pretty close to 40 amps there on the output of the welder. That's DC. It's a little 200 amp juve. It runs off at 220 volts. That's not completely necessary. You could use a 110 volt welder for this. That's what I have. I'm getting a little more aggressive out of this cell. Sure would like to see something right here and right there, but as of now, nothing yet. There might be just a few little bubbles coming up here, maybe. Every now and then a little bubble, so maybe there's still hope. Nothing in that center one there.
This one's coming along nicely. Looking for something here. Just a little tiny bit. See how much my acid's overflowing? I put this on a plastic Rubbermaid type lid. Old lid I have just to kind of keep that contained. We'll let this run a cycle or two and we'll come back and have a look. Now I'm up to about 50 amps and that's about as high as I think I'm going to go on the uh, little DC welder to rejuvenate the battery. And after several more cycles, I've, I've seen life in all the cells. This one is finally starting to show a little bit of bubbling, so it's coming around. I'm actually kind of excited. I think this may actually work. But I'm just going to have to be patient. The battery is getting quite warm, so I'll probably after this cycle let it sit for, I don't know, an hour. Kind of let it cool a little bit. It's hard to cool. It's pretty darn warm outside today, so... Uh, this one is not too much. Every now and then I'll see a bubble or two out of that one, but I've got four out of the six. Actually, seen life in all six cells, so I think if I just stick with this and keep running cycles on it, don't overheat the battery, I think I might actually be successful. The first three or four that have been bubbling every time, they're going to be real clean with desulfation, but I'm just going to keep working it till I get good consistent bubbling out of all six cells. Then I'll throw it on a charger and see what happens. So bear with me. Well here's the battery installed back in the vehicle. I was only able to get bubbling through multiple sequences of uh, running the uh, stick welder trying to revive or rejuvenate this battery or restore it. I only got five of the six to really show any significant bubbling. So I'm kind of in a bind today. I want to try to get this changed out, but my wife is using the other vehicle, so I only have this one. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, kind of take a risk. I'm going to go buy a new battery. I don't have any uh, confidence in this one. And what I'm going to do is see if it'll start. If it will, I'm going to take it down to the battery shop, get a new battery. Hopefully it'll start to come back and I can just change it out here at home. If not, I'll change it out there in the uh, store parking lot. But for a seven-year-old battery, I can't complain. It's done a pretty good job for me. I'm going to hop in here and see if this thing will start, and then I'm going to head out. Go get a new battery. Let's see what happens here. I did have it sitting on a charger part of yesterday, and uh, this is the next day, part of this morning. So even though I wasn't getting any bubbling out of that one cell, it must be have some charge in it because it's over 12 volts, or it was. Let's see what we got. 12.32. Let me hop in. We'll see if he'll start. Yay, it started. And that was a pretty, pretty strong start, actually. All right. I'm going to hop in here and go get a new battery. Well, I'm a little bit surprised. Got my new battery here, 723, middle of July or end of July. Picked up a deck of gold. First time I ever used this brand. Uh, supposedly they're pretty good batteries. And uh, the old battery started really strong. <laughs> so I'm going to have to change my view of the reviving or restoring an old car battery with a stick welder because it definitely made a difference doing all those cycles five on and ten off with the stick welder because that that old battery wouldn't even start the car it was just dead and wouldn't take a charge but now it seemed to be holding up pretty good but I'm gonna replace it anyway it's seven years old and at some point in the near future I'm sure it'll let me down so I bit the bullet and bought a new battery we'll put this one in and I'll be in good shape Hope this video kind of helps somebody out if they're considering doing a, a battery restore with a stick welder. I, I'm a believer. If you uh, check out my other video on my pickup, 
when I first connected it, I was able to get bubbling at all six of the cells, and that's not the case with this one. I was able to bring... Anyway, I hope this video helped somebody out, and we'll see you all on the next one.